Hey guys, I'm Steph from RocketThemes.com and in this tutorial um, we will talk about the menu options that uh, we created for the NIMVA team. Okay, first go to your WordPress dashboard, uh, then go to Team Options and select the Menu Options from the left um, sidebar. Okay, and uh, the first option that you'll see it's called uh, for, um, Header Version 2 um, slash uh, Version 3 Menu Height. Uh, now, what this does um, allows you to actually control the actual height of your menu, but only for the version 2 or version 3. Um, and the second option allows you to also specify a background color for the version 2 or um, version 3 of your um, header uh, layout. Okay, um, let's try to open um, our front page in a new window. So, um, Okay, uh, this is our site. Um, so at the moment we are using the version 1 of the header. Let's try to change that. So go to header settings and um, let's select uh, maybe the version 2. Okay, go back, hit refresh. Okay, so now we have the version 2 um, selected. Um, I'm also going to restore these default settings okay because I don't want this uh, red uh, border here anymore okay um, so these are the this is the default um, uh, version 2 of the header <clears throat> let's go back to our uh, menu options and um, let's say that uh, maybe you want to increase uh, uh, this uh, height here, this is the height of this uh, menu. It's now um, from here to here, it has uh, exactly 50 pixels. So let's say that maybe you want to have uh, maybe a 70 um, pixels uh, height. Go back, hit refresh. And you can see now that um, the height of the menu increased and um, everything still looks uh, pretty decent. And nice okay uh, now let's say that you want to change the background so I'm going to select this uh, yellow colors um, click on save changes and uh, go back to your site hit refresh and as you can see now um, our menu has a um, um, yellow background uh, set uh, for this uh, menu area okay now the next option that you see here is called drop down, uh, drop down uh, menu and allows us to control the actual width of the um, drop down uh, menu items. Now by drop down, um, you should understand that uh, this is a drop down. Uh, this is a, so from here to here, these are these are the the, the sub items of the portfolio, for instance, and um, the width of this uh, drop down menu from here to here. It's actually um, 170 pixels. Okay, you can increase that. Let's see that maybe you want to use a, a higher value like 200 um, pixels. Um, and you can see now that this um, uh, menu now increased to 200 pixels. Uh, you can increase that even more. So let's try to make it uh, maybe 300 hit refresh and as you can see now um, the actual width of the drop down menu increased to the, the value that we um, entered in the menu option which is uh, now uh, 300 uh, pixels okay let's go back <clears throat> another option that you can see here is the WooCommerce option um, enabling this option will allow you to actually uh, show or hide uh, this uh, shopping cart um, item here uh, icon here so let's say that uh, you don't want to use uh, WooCommerce you can just uh, disable this option here um, go back hit refresh and as you can see now um, that shopping cart icon um, simply um, disappeared okay um, the next settings uh, allow you to um, actually change the colors uh, used for the menu um, for the top menu so no matter what uh, version of the header you're using 
um, the settings here called uh, menu styling um, will affect uh, the menu that's placed uh, here okay so i'm just going to restore these settings back to the original uh, values um, i'm also going to select the header one setting okay click on save changes um, go back and refresh and now we have um, the default version one uh, selected okay i'm also going to um, to decrease the, the drop down menu width to um, let's say maybe 200 pixels and we can now start um, customizing uh, our menu okay save changes go back remember that now we are using the 300 pixels okay now we're back to the 200 uh, pixels uh, width okay so um, now for the menu style the first level um, these options here will only always uh, control um, the top um, items so the top items are home pages portfolio blog features uh, vc elements and shop so um, everything that you change here will affect only these um, these values here and not the the sub items that you can see um, uh, when you hover your mouse over these uh, menu items okay so let's go and uh, maybe change the uh, text color for the first um, uh, first level okay so i want to make uh, maybe use a blue color and um, for the hover i want to use um, i don't know maybe this green color blue and green let's see how that goes okay go back and refresh and you can see now that the colors change from that uh, black color to blue and now when you hover your mouse um, the links actually become uh, green because that's the color that we um, selected okay in our team options here um, next you can specify the background color um, on uh, hover this means that when you hover your mouse over that um, um, each menu items you can have a different background color okay so let's try to maybe use this uh, yellow color and also i can um, change the border color that appears on top okay so this uh, red color maybe i want to use the same blue color that i used for the text let's see what happens now okay click save changes go back to your site hit refresh and now you can see that the border uh, changed to uh, the blue color that we selected and also when you hover your mouse over your items you have a yellow background appearing okay so just in case you want to use um, um, a custom background you know you can uh, always change it here right um, okay the the next uh, set of options control uh, the sub levels and also the mega menu so uh, you can see here that uh, the text color for the sub items or sub levels um, if you want are now set to a black color let's try to change that um, to maybe um, a green color and um, also i want uh, the text uh, to change on user hover to um i don't know uh, maybe this purple color okay okay let's click on save changes and see what happens now go back to your site hit refresh okay nothing happened here because uh, the settings that we used uh, will only affect the sub levels okay so now you can see that when you hover your mouse um, over this uh, drop down menu um, our items are no longer using that uh, black um, color they are green and uh, if you hover your mouse you also see uh, that purple um, color okay so green turns to purple and um, that's exactly what we selected here um, also you can specify here the menu background color for the sub levels and of course the background color on um, user hover so let's say that i want to use the same um, yellow color and um, by default when the user um, hovers uh, their mouse i want um, that color to change to i don't know maybe white so i'm just um, switching these uh, colors okay click on save changes go back hit refresh 
and now you can see that we have that yellow color um, for the background and when you hover your mouse it becomes white we also have uh, the same color that we selected like like the, the green for the links for the default state and when you hover your mouse it also um, the link becomes uh, that purple color okay um, this is exactly what we selected it's not a very fortunate um, selection of colors but this is just for showcase anyway okay um, the last option is called the menu separator um, color so um, this uh, this uh, separator is actually uh, that uh, gray um, border if you want that uh, splits um, each of these uh, elements um, sub items or sub levels if you want so let's say that uh, maybe i'm using the same um, yellow color okay if i click on save changes you'll see what happens um, go back here hit refresh and now you can see that the separator is um, no longer um, appearing because it's having the same um, color as the background which is yellow okay so this is nice if you don't want to use any separator for your items okay the last um, options are actually uh, controlling just the mega menu so you can specify here the uh, mega menu heading links color um, our mega menus doesn't have um, any any link colors but you can also um, change them to green by default and maybe hmm, i don't know um, blue save all changes go back to your site hit refresh okay so uh, now you see that um, these heading uh, heading titles here become green they're not actual links so if they were uh, indeed links you'll actually see them um, turning um, to whatever color we selected okay that blue color okay so um, if th these uh, were links uh, they would become blue um, when you hover your mouse okay so um, that's pretty much uh, all the options that we have for our um, uh, menu so you can play around and um, decide what's best for your um, uh, menu design you, know, you can actually tweak this uh, menu every way and um, whatever you want uh, so it it should um, uh, integrate perfectly with the design you want to achieve okay thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, see you next time